lied. In that courtroom that night, that day, they said it wasn't okay for them to do what they did. Two boys barely older than me. Too young to take a life so easily. They called it panic, but that wasn't true. The only panic in that courtroom was Matthew's mother. Afraid they get off the way. So many had before, but each new crime off to open that door despite those who would turn the lock. And I bet that's what those boys were thinking, wishing they'd been smart. Because if it hadn't been hate, they would have chosen someone else. And then maybe Matthew could have helped himself. They lied to the people who watched through tear-studded screens, flashing cameras, flashing faces, flashing pictures of Matthew. As if it was all just a dream, as if he'd come back last night, it was just a mistake. And those boys didn't have the blame to take, but they did. And we saw, held our breath as their names were called, one by one, charges read. Is a TV special any way to rectify the dead? We ask to ourselves and our mind find the reason for murder and put the case behind us, but those stories wouldn't let us, and those cameras refused to forget it. They lied, and if it rolled off their tongues, allowed us to believe it was all hype with not the nature of our existence. For the myth to be true with all of our persistence, but some stood up, made themselves be heard, condemned killers to loneliness, wouldn't let Matthew's name be attributed to injustice. And yeah. We cried, watched those people argue until we grew cold inside, gave up on equality. Because it's not fair that a kid that young, ignorant of how to play the game, had it all taken away because he wasn't the same. He wasn't what they liked when he was punished, left for dead. Well, they got to go home to their warm bed, got to sleep, got to kiss their loved ones goodnight. Well, all Matthew got to do was wait for light, wait for salvation from his panic-inflicted plight. They lied with their actions, with their take on it all, set up in front of a microphone, broadcast it across the globe, bringing this atrocity to every home. And I've heard it asked, what's so special about Matthew? Why was he noticed and so many left out? But what we should be asking is, why does it come on without a doubt, without someone saying, that's not right? Oh, there's a cop I'd be willing to fight, to let out the hatred exposed all the lies of those who commit these crimes to realize they're not killing a sin, they're killing a person who prayed to walk to, live like them, who with one total difference were deemed not worthy to go on, who gave you that right to compel them to be gone. They lied, but more importantly, he lied alone. Tied to the fence that would be his last home, tied to the memory of who did this and why, knowing that had he been born differently, they never would have tried. And that's the reason for fighting, for caring to not ignore adversity, stand up and make noise to be the first, the last, the only, if that's what it takes. Cause that's what makes history, what causes boundaries to break. And I'm sick of the line, so I'm here to say, let's not let tomorrow become yesterday.